Hello guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is DevTrend. Today I am going to show you how to set up any MIDI controller with OBS MIDI plugin. On my last video tutorial, I showed how to set up your MIDI controller with hotkeys. In this tutorial, I will show you how to map your MIDI controller using OBS plugin. Plus a trick to get your LEDs indicators working. Special thanks to the OBS developers community for creating this MIDI plugin. Please bear in mind, this plugin is still under development. And any feedback on this plugin would greatly help the developer's progression. Consider subscribing if you would like to see more tutorials, or perhaps a suggestion on what would you like to see more of. Thank you. And now on to the tutorial. Step 1. Go to the links in the description. Download these two software. Assuming you have already installed OBS, make sure you have also installed Visual C++ 2017 redistributables. Both 32-bit and 64-bit versions is needed for the plugin to show up in OBS. Link will be in the description. After installing, extract the OBS plugin into your C drive, or whatever drive you install OBS. If in your C drive the location would be Program Files, OBS Studio, OBS Plugin 64-bit or 32-bit depending on the OBS architecture you have installed. Next extract the plugin to your corresponding plugins folder. In my case, it's the 64-bit folder, which I have already extracted to. Step 2. Mapping your MIDI controller. With the OBS MIDI plugin, make sure your MIDI controller is plugged in before opening OBS. Now open OBS, and under Tools menu, you will now see OBS MIDI setting. Click on it. Under Devices, all your MIDI devices will be shown here. For this tutorial, I will be using the Novation Launchpad S MIDI controller. Next click on your MIDI device you want to map, and click Enable. Then click Output, and select your MIDI device. In my case, when selected my MIDI device, it sometimes crashes OBS when trying to map buttons. To avoid this, select the other output MIDI device. What works for me is Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth 1. Next, click Configure, and in here, you can map your MIDI controller buttons and faders. For me my controller only has buttons, so I am limited to mapping buttons for now. Now, guys, I am only going to map 3 buttons. To illustrate it does really work. Next press a button on your MIDI controller you want to map. Now a little tip. Click on anywhere in the blank area, other than the MIDI data. Then click on the MIDI data. This is to be done to refresh the action menu, so you can set correct options. Now after the button is highlighted, under action type, change to button, if it auto changed, to fader. Under action, you can select your scenes. I am setting three buttons to switch between scenes. When done click save and close. Note the same process applies for all other buttons you are mapping. And you're all done. For those who want to map your MIDI controllers that have LEDs, please note this method is only for the indication, and will not have direct MIDI signals from OBS to your LEDs. Now a little disclaimer, the MIDI Key 2 Key software is a great convenience to MIDI users using the Novation Launchpad, Launchpad Mini, Launchpad MK2, Launchpad Pro, and the Akai PC Mini because of its auto-mapping feature to map these specific products' LEDs data. That being said, users using other MIDI products can still follow along, but the procedure may be tedious to find your specific LEDs data. This is just something I tried with the LEDs, and thought it would help, noticing the OBS MIDI plugin doesn't support LEDs mapping. As all MIDI controllers, LEDs data are different. Step 3. Setting LEDs indication to map to OBS buttons. For this step, OBS does not need to be open, as I am only mapping the LEDs to MIDI key 2 key as a press button, step sequence indicator, for the previous map to OBS buttons. Now, make sure your MIDI device is plugged in before opening MIDI key 2 key. Next click MIDI devices. Set both drop down menu to your MIDI device, which I am using Launchpad S. Now on your MIDI device press and hold down the first button you mapped in OBS. Next double-click that button, 
And in this tab, you can nap OBS hotkeys. If you preferred that method, you can click on the icon on the screen for that video to learn more. Next, click Send MIDI. Click on Active. Now click on your device shown in the software. For me, it's the Launchpad Mini tab. Click on the Auto Set function. And your button and color data you click will be added to the list automatically. Now, to map the color. Click on the color you want to set as an active state, which for me would be green full. For an inactive state will be set to red low. Therefore, this first button should be set to green full. And the other two buttons will be set to red low. Same applies for every button you double click and set a color you want to be set as active state. All of the other buttons should be set to an inactive state as red low. Repeat this step for every active state button. Next click save. Now guys. For users who don't have these specific MIDI devices, please note these next steps are tedious and you will have to enter your button data manually, but it can be used to help find your LED's MIDI data. For example, double click the button you want to map. At the top left is the data for that button. Normally, these four digits are the actual button location, and the last two letters or numbers are the button color. Therefore editing those letter or number at the end would change the color of your button color. Clicking the test button, you can confirm your button's colors before saving. Again, guys, it's tedious but useful. I'd like to thank the developers for developing this MIDI OBS plugin. Also to the developer of MIDI Key 2 Key. For more information about their software, you can visit the links in the description. That being said, thanks for watching. And like always guys, until next time, be safe.